Hi there guys, it's Niall here. Today I have a review on the 5th generation iPod Shuffle. I know I wouldn't normally do tech reviews, however I thought I'd make an exception for this little device. The iPod Shuffle and the iPod Nano were recently discontinued, which means they'll no longer be produced so you won't be able to buy them in stores for much longer. But I decided to get one of these because for a while I used the original iPod Shuffle from 2005 and I really liked it, I liked the idea, it definitely suits my needs so I decided to pick one up I'm very pleased that I did. So first thing to show you will be the box. The iPod Shuffle comes in a small box that actually houses everything it needs to function minus a computer obviously. So it's got on the sides iPod Shuffle and the logo and then on the back it tells you a bit about the technical specs for the iPod Shuffle now once we take this off we have the design by Apple in California we have the start here in several different languages and the white Apple stickers now basically this just tells you to go on iTunes and download iTunes and all the stuff you need to actually run the iPod Shuffle. So inside we have this minuscule USB connector for the iPod Shuffle to be connected to a computer and I think they should have made this a bit longer I know they could have made the box a little bit bigger then perhaps they could have put earpods in it as well because moving on we have these little speakers or earplugs. Now I have to admit if I didn't intend to review this I would never have even unwrapped these they they are okay if you don't have any but who doesn't have a set of earplugs these days that are better than this so I think they should have included the earpods because I was shocked I mean the iPod shuffle the fifth generation is the same as the fourth generation but it came out in 2015 and has more colors available for it so I was really surprised that they don't have earpods now obviously these just connect to the headphone jack the same as the USB cable does and they're honestly they're okay I mean you'll get by using these but who would actually use these because they're not the best on the planet by far so let's take a look at the case for the iPod shuffle now on the front you have the click wheel controls where you have play and pause volume up or down and back or forward through the tracks on the top you have the headphone jack which is the only port for the iPod shuffle and you also have the controls for voiceover which is here and you can select the on and off button between shuffle and play through it in the order that they're stored on the back you have the Apple logo and this neat little clip which is actually very effective and I'm going to talk about this now because loads of people will judge by its size that the iPod Shuffle is too easy to lose so you're bound to lose it so it's not worth the money well actually I think it's very difficult to lose because although it's small when you're actually on the move it clips onto your clothes or you've got a shirt pocket or a trouser pocket it'll clip onto that nicely and it's a very firm clip it's very hard to just pull off so I doubt it's going to fall off and even if it did headphone jacks if you've got a headphones connected which you must have if you're listening to music then headphones jacks are very strong so it will just dangle off and even if it did come loose it doesn't take a genius to work out that when the music stops suddenly there's a problem so I highly doubt you're gonna lose it so I just thought I'd address that because a load of people will judge it by its size and that's a mistake because it's actually a very effective little device and I'll demonstrate it now. So to demonstrate the iPod Shuffle to you, I connected a pair of external speakers. These aren't the best but they're all I'm ever going to need because I never use external speakers for something like this and they're purely for the demonstration of the iPod Shuffle. Now I apologise about the incredibly old song I'll play to demonstrate it. It's from the 20s, early 20s and it's not copyrighted, it's public domain. So obviously I can only use public domain things because they'll try and glass move copyright complaints if I don't. And you see it happen a lot with you. 
as you can hear, it can go pretty loud and pretty quiet. It can go with headphones a lot louder than you'll need it. But it also has the voiceover feature. So if I click it once, me and the man in the moon, the ambassadors, the ambassadors, me and you can, and you can configure it to speak whatever language and obviously accent that you want it to. So anyway, if I double, if I continue and double click it, battery seventy five percent. And if I hold it down, awesome. and I don't have playlist set awesome. up, so it'll awesome. just scroll through that. But that is voiceover and the iPod Shuffle itself. So overall, the iPod Shuffle is a very useful device. Now I'm afraid I'm not going to demonstrate connecting it up to iTunes, purely because I don't want the video to drag on too long and there'd be a bit to show you. However, it's very simple and you can look online for how to do it if you're not able to understand it. But do ask me in the comments if you're unsure about doing it, because I will reply back to you. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. My overall verdict on the iPod Shuffle has to be that it's very useful. Not just for people like who go jogging, but general people like myself. Because I normally just search music on YouTube, say buying it and downloading it. Because what's the point when it's on there? And... Um, this little device will obviously help me when I'm away from Wi-Fi because I can clip it to my body when I'm out and about doing little tasks or I'm on the beach for example and for generally anybody it's very useful obviously it's very simple to use so people who aren't too tech savvy once you get it set up it's very easy to use literally flick a switch and press play it's that simple and the fact that it clips onto your body makes it very hard to lose, despite what some people will say, judging by its size. So once again, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy this review and you'd like to see more videos like it, please do tell me in the comments and leave a like and subscribe if you like my videos. If you didn't enjoy this video, please don't just leave a dislike. Leave me a comment to tell me why you didn't like it, so I can make the next video all the more enjoyable. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.